Hi there, welcome to Opinion Stage. In this video, I'll give you a really quick overview of the platform. Let's start by creating an item. With Opinion Stage, you can either create an item from a template or from scratch. Let's start from a template. I'll click the Template tab, and I'm actually already there. And then I'll select a template I want to use. Let's say I want to use a poll template. I'll check out the different options. Let's say I'm going to try a rounded image poll. And I'm going to test out and vote. Now let's say I like it, I'll just click Use Template. And what that will do will copy the template to my items. And now I can make all the changes I like to the template before creating it. I can change every aspect, images, number of size, sides, and so on. Let's say I made all the changes I wanted. I'm going to click Create and Preview to see the uh, item I created. And we're good to go. Now let's say I want to create the poll from scratch. In this case, I'll go to the Create New button. Note that there's a few options. I can create a poll format, a survey, a trivia quiz, a personality quiz, a standard form. Let's say in this case, again, I want to create a poll. I'll just ask a question. I can add a description, choose the layout, put an intro image or video. Let's say we're looking for uh, Italian food. You can also uh, check over here the usage rights. And I'm going to select this image. I'm going to crop it. And now all I need to do is add a few answers. And click Create. Now I can preview the poll I created again. And you can see how easy it is to create a poll. Now, it's very easy, but we also have a lot of advanced features when needed. So I'll just highlight a few. You can block repeat voting. You can integrate a lead form. Actually, in all our items, you can e integrate this uh, capture of email, name, whatever field you like. Uh, we also offer the option to design your poll, select a color theme, uh, update your font, and all the way up to CSS override. We have a lot of social integrations, uh, and we have also integrations with third parties. Let's, see, let's say we're ready with this poll, and now we want to embed and share it. So I'll just click the Embed and Share. And now I can either add it to my site using script code, an iframe code. If you have a WordPress plugin, it's very recommended to use that, and you can do everything from WordPress. Or you can just share it to your social networks or email. Or actually, you can share the link anywhere you like. You just click Copy and share the link. OK, so we created the item. We embedded and shared it. Now let's take a look at what we can do in terms of reporting. So for this case, I'm going to take a look at a different item that we already created, a quiz. And I'm going to take a look at the results. Now you can see that you uh, get a lot of information, such as how many views the quiz got, the people that started it, how many completed it, all the answer report, uh, response report, drop-off report, outcome report, and much more. You can export the report, and you can also set to automatically send the results to your marketing automation or get an email notifications on submissions. As you can see, the platform is both super easy to use, but also very powerful if you need advanced features. Thanks for tuning in to this short video. Welcome to Opinion Stage, and enjoy creating your quizzes, polls, surveys, and forums.